My name is uh, Edith Epe I am from Nigeria, Yaka precisely. I, I formerly worked with uh, an organization like this called Sekopan. Have you been to Sekopan? Have you known Sekopan before? No. Okay, I was working with the Sekopan. It's also an organization, an NGO that keeps the long tail monkeys. We were at the highway just in Calabar here. But after some time, we folded up as a result of financial crisis. So I, my services was transferred down here to recommendation. This place is called Pandrilus. It's an NGO. And what we do, we do breathing for this uh, endangered species. Our major objective here is to rehabilitate them and send them back to their natural environment where they are supposed to be. And these ones are unique to our country, Nigeria. You can only find it in Nigeria. You can't find it in any other part of the world. Right. Yeah. And you can find it in Imo states. You can find it in Delta states. You can find it in Aquaibom states. That is where you find them. And in these three communities, people don't eat them because they take them as sacred animals. They're sacred? Yes, yeah, sacred, yes. Yeah. And you know, uh, 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 an animal that is not eaten by the population if the population keeps rising and increasing, mm -hmm. okay? So, they are called the Splatter's Guenons. The Guenon here is a common name. The Splatter's Guenons are the smallest in size among the Guenon's family. Yeah, the smallest in size among the Guenon's family. And we recognize them by the triple color tail. Okay, by the yeah. triple color tail. Red, white, and black at the end of the uh, at the tip end of the tail. And these are endangered. Yeah, they are really endangered. They are endangered species. What's the estimate for the wild population? The estimated wild population. No, I can't. I can't really state how many how many they are. Pegasus. And you can see we have all these our uh, basins here, our basket. Our food basket. Uh -huh. That is where we cut their food into smaller pieces and we put it there and they dip in the arm and eat. What so, did you do with the uh, the old leader that was beaten? Did you put them in a separate cage? Yeah, we precipitated him because there was a lot of aggression. Uh -huh. and then he has been there for some months now and he's lonely. And we have seen that he's very, feeling very bored because of the loneliness. Because all these animals are social animals, they interact with each other. So what we are trying to do now is to see how we can reintegrate him back to the group. The guy is the other side there. Okay. I'll show you, yeah. Pegasus is the other Have side. Have you thought about giving him maybe his own group of females, like separate? Or? Yeah, we thought about that, but one thing is that uh, where we separated him to, there's, there's no much space. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's no space. So that is it. Like I said, that this organization is called Drill Ranch or Pandrillus. That means we derive our name from these very ones here, these animals. So these ones are called the drill monkeys. Yes, drill monkeys are found only in three countries. You cannot find them in any other country. And in these countries are Nigeria, here in Kosovo State. This is where you find them. And then also you'll find them in Ikutura Guinea, in a place called Bioko Island. And then you'll find them also in South Western Cameroon. Yes, in Limbe. That was, those are the three countries you'll find them. The drill monkeys are very territorial. They are so territorial in, in, in the sense that they fight for space, for territory, and, and for security. And this has caused them a lot of fight here where they fight and overthrow their leader and another one comes in. Yes. We are these endangered? Yeah, very, very endangered. Very, very yes, they are really endangered, yes. So they are semi nomadic animals because they move mostly on the ground, foraging and in search of food. And the food they search mostly are insects and worms on the ground. Yes. So that is the reason why you see us uh, putting up all these things, like the poles, the, 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 the ropes there, pitfalls like the climbers, 
Because in the forest, like I said already, that our objective is to rehabilitate them and send them to their natural environment. And so what we do here is to improvise this environment so that by the time they go back to where we are to release them, they will not find it strange. Okay? Yes, speak louder. Good, 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 good. So as you see, they rest mostly on top of the trees. The forest on the ground, like I said, there are several nomadic animals. But after some time, when they want to relax or sleep, they go on top of the trees. We equally feed them like we feed the other group there with vegetables and fruits. Yes. So a lot and lot of these animals have gone extinct as a result of deforestation. Yes. Deforestation, hunting, and all that has really affected them. But I thank God that we are able to preserve and conserve these ones so that the generation to come will know that they once existed as animals like this. So Okay, that's the donation box? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll give this one to you. Okay. Do you have a place online that people can donate to if they want to donate money? Yeah. Uh, is that? Yes. We do. Uh, is it on here? Yeah, we've got our... Nigerian bank account on here, but we've also got a PayPal account. Okay, uh, that goes to. So we are. Pandrillus Foundation is a U.S. based organization set up by the directors of this project, and it funds both Drill Ranch here in Nigeria and also Limbe Wildlife Center, which is our sister project in southwest Cameroon. Mm -hmm. um, so Donations coming from the U.S. will go to Pandrillus Foundation, and Pandrillus Foundation disperses that money between the two projects. Okay. Um, or if you want to make a donation here in Nigeria and Naira, you can deposit it into our bank account. Okay. Um, what would be the information that people could give that to? Uh, our website. All okay. of the, all of the uh, necessary information is on our website, which is www.pandrillus.org. P A N D R I L L U S. So there's main camp. Main camp, these are the cabins, the tourist cabins. Um, this is the mountain. This is a picture directly up the mountain from our, our projects down here somewhere. And you know, these are animals in the enclosures. How often are you actually out there? Um, I, I rotate back and forth depending on where people are needed. It's constantly manned though, you always have people up there? Yeah, uh, up there there's 30 staff, roughly. Um, we've got some staff like a deck here, rotates back and forth. They go with two months up and a month down, or two months up, two months down. Um, we've got, currently there's two expatriate volunteers up there that live in camp, and another eight or nine national staff that also live in camp. And the tourist cabins, are they open all year round? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How much does it cost to rent one? It's 8,000 Naira a night per person. Oh, that's not bad. No. And it's, yeah. I mean, you're in the forest. Yeah. There's no electricity in the cabins. They're nice cabins. They're in a bit of disrepair right now. But Any mosquito netting? They're fully enclosed with oh, okay. uh, mosquito mesh. This. So as long as you keep the door closed, there's no bugs getting in. All right, that's good. I imagine that could be a problem. I noticed the picture. Is there chimpanzees up near there? Or? Yeah, yeah. So the big three, which is the drill, the gorilla, the chimp. Um, we already talked about the gorilla being the most endangered subspecies of gorilla, the cross river gorilla. Nigeria has also got the most endangered subspecies of chimpanzee, the Nigerian Cameroonian chimpanzee, oh, wow. which is also on Afi Mountain. And then the drill, which is another endangered large bodied primate on the mountain. So you've got these three large bodied primates living in the wildlife sanctuary. And if we have a map here, 
which I don't, the wildlife sanctuary was positioned where it was because you've got drill ranches here. The wildlife sanctuary has a corridor which most of the eastern part of Cross River State, we've got two national parks. We've got Cross River Park National Park Oban Division, which is just a bit north of here in Acampa. Yeah. That's where Circle Pan used to be. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then you have Cross River National Park Aquango Division, which is up by us in the northern part of the state. So Alfie's got these endangered primates on the mountain, has a corridor connecting to Mbe, which is a community based conservation protected land, and the national parks, Cross River, which technically have a little bit more protection and support for the animals and illegal logging. In theory, they're supposed to have it. And then in Western Cameroon, a lot of Western Cameroonian border is also national park. So you've got this huge continuous piece of forest that houses these three large body endangered primates. And then I'm guessing they all they're all endangered, but they do they compete for the same resources? Like their food source is pretty much the same thing for all three? Um, gorillas tend to eat more vegetation. The drills are a lot of forest fruits. Chimps are kind of a mix between forest fruits and vegetation, but that's not they 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 evolve to live together, so okay. it's not a, there's not, not like a, a scarcity of resources. There's not a scarcity okay. of there's a scarcity of, of land because these, these these protected lands are, are reducing yeah. and Afi is slowly becoming an island. The corridors are disappearing and Bay is becoming an island. The national parks are becoming fragmented. So yes and no, I would say. But if we if we don't stop the uh, encroachment on our protected lands, then these animals don't have much of a future. And so we're actively involved in law enforcement and trying to get people to enforce the laws. The forestry laws in the state are excellent. It's the enforcement. That's the issue. Yeah. Is there like any sort of poaching issues that you guys have there? Yes, there's still hunting going on. And hunting and trapping. If you hear gunshots during the day, normally they're targeting primates. All right, so at the Pandrillas Foundation, we found a lot of uh, really interesting stuff. We found out about their place up in the mountains, so hopefully in a few months, you guys are gonna see us up there. We gotta learn about drills, something I didn't know anything about really, so definitely really interesting. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give us a comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And donate to Pandrillus. Yeah, definitely donate to Pandrillus. If you got any extra money, this place is a total NGO. They get all their funding off of donations. Um, it's not like the one in Cameroon where they split the cost with the government. This is all donation based, so and any amount helps. And it seems like they're fighting a real uphill battle. And even one US way. dollar will take you a long way in uh, Nigeria, so That's anything true. helps.